Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Groove Guru. Welcome to my channel, I appreciate you watching. Uh, so this is just a quick video about a project I've been working on for a while now. Um, I actually designed a holder for some desiccant for my um, 3D, um, where I keep all my uh, filament. So um, this has been going on for now about two weeks. Uh, I designed uh, the initial thing in um, a couple, actually a week and a half ago or so, and I just didn't get a chance to print it until the other night. Um, and so I'm gonna show it to you here real quick. <clears throat> so, uh, this is it. It's a two-part print. Um, well, I printed it all at once. Uh, you can see it's, um, well, big. <laughs> uh, it's 100 millimeters um, diameter with a lid that screws on top. So I printed this in Maker Geeks um, PETG. It's green, you can see. Um, I love uh, the PETG except for one caveat, which I will give at the end. Um, so this particular device, um, this particular model, uh, it worked very well. Um, I will tell you, so I, it's the first time I did a model with threads that I printed myself. And so I, I don't know, I printed this at 60 millimeters per second um, at 0.2 millimeter layer height. Um, I don't know if it was the speed or the thread diameter here or the thread um, thickness or not, but um, when I screw it on, you can see it goes on well. But then it gets to about right about there and it gets super super tight so i noticed a little zitting um, on the model and i don't know if that's what's contributing to the tightness but i, I can continue to tighten it down and, and i'll be honest with the more the more i screw it on the further in it goes when i first did it it didn't go that far but it's still way 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 tighter than i would want um and look it's freaking huge <laughs> um I, I guess uh, i mean i don't know i you know i designed it in 100 centimeters 100 millimeters i mean um it just seemed reasonable it's got holes in the bottom the top and whatever so i went off and i redesigned another one uh this morning actually and i printed it um and you can see it here it is smaller uh a lot smaller as a matter of fact uh it's 50 percent of the side it's only 50 uh, millimeters across instead of 100 and you can see there's no holes on the bottom so um, this one I did um, with a significantly thicker uh, thread wall um, than the other one, um, and it goes th it goes together like like butter. It is uh, amazing. I love it. Um, I'm super super happy with the results um, and from from the threading side. So um, I I gotta be honest with you. I this is a little small. Um, this is kind of the size of my head. Um, so I think I'm going to go in between, uh, maybe 75 millimeters and go from there. Um, so now, uh, on to the PETG. So, uh, when I printed this guy, I had, uh, a fair amount of problem getting it off the print bed. It was, um, it was stuck on there pretty well. And, and all of the prints I've been making recently on the PEI, um, uh, bad have been stuck pretty well, but uh, PETG has been sticking uh, better than um, ABS or even the PLA. So uh, I was able to get this guy off. I, I, I actually bought a new tool. Let me get, show it to you here. It looks like this. It's just I got this at the, the, the all those, but the you know, big box store. Uh, it's meant to uh, take paint tops of paint can thinners off. It's got a nice little a kerf on it. Uh, I think you can see that there, yeah. So uh, it actually works very well. It's super, super strong. Um, the spatula I was using before worked. It, it worked well um, for for the PLA and whatnot. But um, I, it was having trouble getting some of these guys off, especially this one. So I, I combination of a little, small little screwdriver and, and that guy was able to get it off. So um, this guy here, um, this is where um, the fun begins. Um, so got the, the top off using the new tool uh, fairly easily. It didn't really mar it too much, actually. S scratch, I don't know if you can get the light that you can see right there, that nice little scratch, yeah. Um, when I was taking the bottom off, I kind of got the knife under, or the uh, thing under it, and was pushing on it, and I you know I heard it breaking loose, and um, just as I was saying, hey, you know, uh, I think my hand's probably not in the right place, uh it uh broke free and um jammed right into my hand so imagine this guy 
going directly into your hand with as much force as you can apply to it as you're trying to get this thing off the print bed. Um, so <laughs> um, there's three stitches under this bandage. I spent uh, an hour or two in the ER having them uh, put me back together. Um, so this is a cautionary tale. Um, I, you know, I, I watched the video. I, uh, I think it was Ma Angus from Maker's Muse on um, um, the dangers of these guys. Um, and uh, look, I always knew it was a possibility. <laughs> um, and I can't say that I thought I, w I was going to be different than some other folks, but I'm not. Um, so look, it, it just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Um, it, you know, I, I what's Joel telling saying? You know, love each other more, give hugs, whatever. Be careful out there. Um, <laughs> um, be careful out there. Um, this, this, by the way, if, if you get an opportunity to get this tool, it's actually fantastic for removing things. Um, it works really, really well. Um, but it, um, it's pretty darn unforgiving and um, and whatever. So what I can tell you is, um, be careful out there. Um, it hurts. It, it doesn't hurt all, a lot, but it is not comfortable. <laughs> uh, so, I'm a living testament. Uh, um, 3D printing is awesome and it's also dangerous. So, um, with that, that's all I had to say. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, give it a thumbs up, um, if you like it, I'm sorry, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, um, I did this for you, so I deserve the thumbs up anyway. So, uh, Everyone have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.